At such a young age, Igor Sviatek is out on the court to conquer the world of tennis. Igor Sviatek plays with a lot of variety in her strokes and has an aggressive style of play. Her transition from attack to defense is frequently seamless and her use of the drop shot is spectacular. Iga usually stays a bit far from the baseline and is quick to set an angle and position on any short balls hit back by the opponent. Her dedication to fitness demonstrates her admiration for Rafael Nadal. Her stamina and agility are the foundation of her game. Iga can run for the duration of the match and is nearly impossible to tire out. How she constructs a point is also intriguing and exciting. She knows when to move forward, when to attach and when to defend, even at such a young age. The more we look at the playing style, the more we are left in awe. We're going over the technical aspects, but I like to use her forehand to emphasize how she's never out of position with different core positioning, footwork patterns, recovery, and finishes and swings. She adjusts to whatever comes her way, and not only does she adjust, but she also produces high class and high quality shots every time. So let's have a deep look at her playing style. Technical Analysis In the first step of technical analysis on her forehand, the most important thing is grip. The grip of Iga Sviatek is mind-blowing. She uses a full western grip with the underside of her index finger, knuckle, and heel pad completely under the racket. Your grip determines your swing shape and also where your contact point will be. So with Iga's grip, someone with a full western grip tends to have very compact swing shapes, meaning there is no full extension, so she has her elbow bent. And as she makes contact, you see that there's a bend in her elbow. The contact point does not tend to be as far out in front, but it is still out in front and her finish is over. The left hand of Iga Sviatek facilitates the turn. The reason why Iga can generate so much topspin is not just the grip, but also how her racket is positioned when she's hitting the ball. So, before hitting the ball, she points the hitting part of the racket towards the front, then all the way to the back, before pointing the racket downward at the racket drop point. Even just before hitting the ball, the racket face is behind her wrist, and then her racket face gets parallel to her wrist just before the hit. Iga finishes the shot with her biceps. Footwork If we talk about the footwork, you will notice that Iga Sviatek uses all three stances, so a closed stance is usually what people call a more classic stance, or something that does not exist in pro tennis anymore. But to me, with all due respect, that's complete nonsense, because the benefit of this position can be seen in the games of Iga. How she loads off her back leg is that she can transfer her entire body weight forward and into the shot. So when she is moving toward the ball, she takes very small steps and does not run very fast, which is why she is always balanced. For some shots, when the ball is coming a little deeper, she has to move a little far away, and this is when she uses a semi-open stance. Maintaining her equilibrium, you'll notice that her head is still balanced. It appears as if she's falling off the ball because she's hitting it off the back foot. But those are two different things. She's still very balanced, and you can see how she lifts, which is one of the different finishes she's choosing. Now, on a ball where she has to move a lot more laterally, she chooses an open stance, as you can see with the crossover and her feet parallel to the baseline, so that is the open stance when you have more of a way to go laterally. So, that is how she adjusts to hit those balls. So, on all three stances are in use at all times, but Iga is really trying to get her body weight into the ball, and you can see nicely how she loads her outside leg and then lifts up to the ball, making contact still within her strike zone between shoulder and hip, so using all of her different stances to adjust to different incoming balls. Court Positioning The major thing that makes Iga's play style is court positioning. She prefers to stay a little far away from the baseline, around two yards, on the other hand, if we look at the court positioning of other tennis players, we can see that they prefer playing very close to the baseline. The major difference between the deeper court positioning and the closer court positioning is that in deeper court positioning is that in deeper court positioning, the player has the chance to set herself to prepare for the angle she is going to face the call and shoot her shot. Finishes. The finishing of Iga Sviatek depends on the ball she is playing. Each type of ball has different kinds of finishes. So, let's discuss the Iga Sviatek's buggy whip. She comes at the ball more aggressively. When the ball is coming at her a little bit faster, a little bit closer, and for her to make contact, she has to come up very steeply. 
And if you have that beginning of your swing shape more steeply, you're not going to extend forward all of a sudden. So she finishes the buggy whip over her head, as we all already know. This is just another weapon to get the ball, give one more ball back, and give your opponent the opportunity to mess it up. And then there are the more typical follow-throughs over the shoulder or over the biceps, which is what happens a little more with Iga Sviatic. But regardless of the finish she falls through, the side with which she hits the ball is facing to the outside, so a lot of different finishes in different styles. For a better understanding, we will look at one of her matches and how she stunned everyone with her performance. But before we move towards it, take a moment and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Roland Garros Let's take a brief look at the Roland Garros win of Iga and try to see her playing style. Sviatic averaged the highest topspin forehand winners among women when she won Roland Garros in 2020, around 3,200 revolutions per minute. She blistered one at a Rafa-esque 3,453 RPMs during the final against Sofia Kennan. Sviatic was hitting it harder than any other woman in the draw at the same time. Her top speed of 79 miles per hour was only surpassed by Yannick Sinair on the men's side. Her fastest backhand was clocked at 76 miles per hour, the same as the fastest male, Dominic Team. The perfect time slide. It may not be as flashy as the big strokes, but movement makes a huge difference in professional tennis. The thing I see instantly in her game on clay that she's by far the best at in the women's game, she's a great slider, said ESPN tennis analyst Brad Gilbert. Both she and Ons Jabor are excellent sliders. It is not by chance that they have played the best clay court tennis this year. Sviatic, like Novak Djokovic, perfectly times her slides to meet the ball, not a foot or two past it. She's finishing the slide as she hits the ball, said two-time Roland Garros champion Martina Navratilova. What happens then is that your body isn't actually moving when you hit the ball, making it a more stable shot. She can then return to the center of the court as soon as she follows through. Others are still sliding, so they return to the court later and are more vulnerable. Sviatik's aggression travels well on clay, so she just needs to endure longer rallies before pulling the ripcord. It's such a different shot when you're hitting a ground stroke when you're on the baseline or two feet inside it, as opposed to four feet behind the baseline, Navratilova said and I think she believes she won't be burned when she enters the court, that she can handle the next shot, and she's quick enough to recover from any position, which allows her to be more daring in the future. Tips for improvement Despite having every move perfect, there can still be various improvements in the playing style of Iga Sviatik, as we all know that there is always room for improvement. Fellow player Gilbert has a minor nitpick for her. I still believe that with the grip she uses, she can be rushed to the forehand a little bit on faster surfaces," he said. He also appreciated her play by saying that lately her overall game appears to have improved. She has even improved her forehand power. You're going to be on roller skates when she's in the center of the court hitting forehands. She had a couple of times on the court last year where she was down on herself. So that was all from this video. I hope you liked it. What unique attribute do you think makes Iga Sviatik different from the rest of the players? Tell us in the comments below.